all right guys welcome back to day six uh, in this video we are going to be making uh, the stop button and learning how to stop the music from playing by using the pike game mixer class now this is going to be a very very quick video and it's going to be a very very easy video uh, so that's why i want to recap what we did in the first five days before we start the actual video so let's actually run our main.py file and see the progress that we have made so first we learned how to create this title and how to have an icon in this kind of window we first created the kinter window using this tk function and we stored the window inside this root variable after that we changed the title the geometry and gave it an icon after that we learned that this kinter window has a lot of widgets inside it and we can use widgets like labels and buttons and images like photo images and do a lot of weird stuff with it and then we learned how to create a button and how to call a function when that button is clicked using the command parameter and then we embedded this uh, image inside the button by using image equals to the photo variable and that's pretty much it and after that the last thing we learned is how to use pygame and mixer to actually play the music first we initialize the mixer and then we loaded the music file and then we basically played the music file so without wasting any more any more time uh, let's get started actually so the first thing we are going to do is actually paste this uh, like play.png we want another file that can be represented as the stop icon so you can again go to flaticon.com uh, search for the stop uh, stop keyword and get this uh, 64 by 64 pixel png and i've already gotten it and i've i'm going to just paste it in my project so that i don't have to do any more work so yeah stop.png we have already pasted it and now it's going to be pretty easy because you already know what to do so i'm just going to copy all these three lines and paste them just below this and instead of the play photo i'm just going to write the stop photo instead of play.png i'm just going to write stop.png pretty much the same you know the drill it's pretty boring stuff nothing too exciting stop photo and instead of this um, let me actually first change this dot back and instead of this play music actually we'll add it afterwards let me cut this and uh, let's run this first so that we know how our uh, kinter window looks all right so there is this play button and just below this is the stop button don't worry about how it looks right now because we'll be changing that in the future we'll be aligning these buttons in horizontal manner and doing some other changes basically what dot pack does is is that it aligns all the widgets what it does is uh, it arranges all the widgets below the last widget so we first created the label widget and then the play widget so it arranged the play widget below the label widget and the stop widget is going to come below the play widget because it arranges it in a vertical kind of a manner all right so don't worry about it too much we are going to be learning about different kind of layouts in the future uh, i'm not sure but i think we will be uh, but yeah so anyways um, so yeah now let's integrate the command functionality inside our stop button so let me just remove this part and yeah instead of play music let's change the function name to stop music and now let's actually create the function that's going to stop the music so it's going to be pretty easy it's going to be pretty obvious instead of uh, let's change it to stop music all right now instead of this music we don't need this load thing because the music is already playing in the background and we need to stop the music so it doesn't make sense that we have to load any kind of music track all right so instead of just dot play we just have to write dot stop and that's pretty much it that's going to help us stop the music let me format this properly and yeah it's uh, this looks decent this looks pretty good all right so we first created the photo stop button and then we attached a function to this button so that when it's clicked it does something that is it stops the music let me uh, remove all of the stuff all right let's uh, run this main.py file and see if it works so first we are going to press on the play button and you are going to hear some music <laughs> I don't know whether you heard my voice or not within that uh, music playing but basically on pressing the stop button it stopped the music 
so yeah that's how this uh, music player is working in the next video i think uh, this video was short and it was it wasn't that difficult not that complicated uh, so in the next video we are going to do something a little bit more difficult but it's going to be very very interesting you're gonna love it uh, so yeah i'll see you on day seven